Today's paper is a combination of Maharashtra State PG Entrance 2015 actual questions and the Kerala State PG 2015 and some new questions. So let's first start with Maharashtra Postgraduate Entrance 2015. Which artery is the branch of the posterior division of the internal iliac artery? <clears throat> so basically we have got three branches from the posterior division. Slip, SLIP, P is for posterior, SC superior gluteal, lateral sacral and iliac lumbar typically constitutes the posterior division and all the remaining obturator, inferior gluteal, umbilical, uterine, vaginal, inferior vesicle, middle rectal, internal pudendal, they are all basically the anterior division. <coughs> Which muscle is attached to the tuberosity of the navicular bone? Can I expect some answers from the online students? Chandu, Girish, Sangeeta, Sassi, what is your guesswork? Which muscle is attached to the tuberosity of the navicular bone? Very good. Kiran says tibialis posterior. Absolutely. If you look at uh, the tibialis posterior, it ultimately, this is the tibialis posterior, it ultimately comes and attaches onto the Navicular is what you need to remember. One question definitely will come on one of the parasympathetic ganglia, ciliary ganglion, otic ganglion, etc. etc. So, doctor, it is the lesser petrosal nerve, lesser petrosal nerve, which is the one which passes from the temporal bone in the middle cranial fossa and it synapses with otic ganglion. And the postganglionic fibers ultimately will go and supply the parotid gland is what you have to basically remember. Which structure? Very good. Which structure does not open in internal jugular vein? So, we have got different thyroid veins. So, if you look at superior and middle thyroid veins, they drain into internal jugular vein. Whereas, the inferior thyroid vein directly drains into brachiocephalic vein. There will be no surprise if the same MCQ repeats in the next APPG, TGPG and TNPG. Bulundari is a demyelinating, post-infectious demyelinating polyneuritis is what you have to basically remember. So, there is a reason Schwanzel's which are important for the myelination, the Gullenberry basically affects the Schwann cells is what you need to remember. Cross bridges are the basically made up of what? They are made up of myosin in the sarcomere. If you see the recent entrance exams, even in uh, Kerala PG also we have seen titin, desmin, what is their function? Definitely one question will come on sarcomere. So, you have to be 100 percent sure. This is the atypical question of the Maharashtra PG. We are all prepared for ECG at most EEG waves. Who will be preparing for his bundle electrogram? What is the A deflection? You all know Genan textbook of physiology, no? Uske last way, ek 250 MCQs rehta hai. Unse liye hue question hai. Straight pick up from the Ganong's, but now you will not do all that. Uh, but uh, when you have time to do MCQs regularly in the beginning of preparation, it is worth solving those 200 or 300 questions in the end of the Ganong's physiology. Lot of times examiners will straight pick the questions from there. So, doctor, it is the um, AV node activation. So, basically, his bundle electrogram, if you see, you have A deflection, H spike, and V deflection. Activation of the AV node is A deflection, and the transmission of the impulse to the his bundle is H spike. Ultimately, it will go and depolarize the ventricles, which is called V spike. Usme kuch badia vat kya hai? So, this is called his bundle A wave, H wave, V wave. Three waves in the his bundle electrogram is what you need to remember. 
then accordingly you have a PA between SA node and AV node and AH interval and HV interval. So if you are only prepared for PR interval, QRS interval, examiner may not be happy sometimes. If you still have little energy, remember, otherwise forget it. No problem in the last moment. PA interval is 27 milliseconds, AH interval is 92 milliseconds and HV interval is 43 milliseconds. Is, uh, are the different values on the, his electrogram is what you need to basically remember. <coughs> Intention traverse are typically seen in the lesions of the cerebellum is what you have to fundamentally understand. In the utricle, the tip of the hair cells, wherever we listen a sound, we appreciate the intensity, pitch, amplitude, so many timber, so many individual acoustic qualities of the sound. So, all the sound comes, has to convert ultimately into electrical signals and it has to pass through auditory nerve. Just like when the light falls on the retina, cis retinol, all trans retinol, ultimately it can translates into opening of some channels and electrical conduction through the optic nerve. So, even in the utricle, the tip links in the hair cells are involved in altering and activation of the ion channels is what you have to basically remember. So, we have the mechanoreceptors in the called hair cells, they will be able to distinguish the tilt of the head. So, then the linear acceleration can be perceived, semicircular canals can perceive the angular acceleration. So, how will Whenever you tilt hand, automatically that tilts the hair cells that will open some channels and that in turn will transmit to brain. So, that is how the mechanism is all about. Now, what is the ratio? Um, ratio, I am very happy to see 20 viewers. I think once they give uh, interruption, Abhiram and everybody will join uh, after uh, the interruption of the one day international match. So, we will, I want to see at least 50 to 60 viewers today. So, um, the ratio of the stroke volume output to the compliance of the arterial tree is basically called pulse pressure. It is a hardcore uh, cardiovascular physiology based MCQ. Right doctor? Now, I told you know, Definitely one question will come from one vitamin. If you look at the top 20 topics given to you, in the high yield topic list on the news for medico.com, biochemistry may, vitamins, definitely one question will come. So, Dr. Pyridoxin is the coenzyme for all the transemination reactions is what you have to ultimately remember. Heme is converted to bilirubin. Where does that conversion occur? It typically occurs in the microsomal heme oxygenase is the enzyme which is basically involved. HHH syndrome is because of what is the defect? It is a little uh, vague question. But urea cycle, urea cycle enzyme defects is a high yielding topic, right doctor? So, there is a reason uh, you must be ready with this. Hyperornithinemia, hyperammonemia, hypercitrullinemia syndrome is called HHH syndrome. It occurs whenever there is any defect in the ornithin transporter which is located in the mitochondrial membrane called mitochondrial ornithin transporter 1 which is also called ornithin permease is what you have to basically remember. And it is very important in the ornithine degradation pathway. And because of that what will happen? Hyperornithemia, postprandial hyperammonemia and urinary excretion of the homocitrulline that is the one which establishes the diagnosis of the triple H syndrome is what you have to basically remember. This is the easy question. How does aldosterone basically act? 